My job today was to show you guys how to make liquid laundry soap for your washing machines. And um, it's funny, a year ago, next weekend, I was at a girls' weekend. I get together with my sisters and my sister-in-laws, and we just watch movies and eat chocolate and just hang out. Well, she had just demonstrated this in their Relief Society. So we had all sat down and made laundry soap took it home in a six gallon bucket and I just ran out last week and that, so it lasted me 10 months. And I have eight kids. So it really goes far. And it is super cheap. And before we start, I wanna show you that this here on the table is a five year supply of laundry soap. If you did six loads a week. And I kind of figure that's what most families would, I mean, when my kids were little, I probably did three loads a day. But, you know, once they start getting older, and then you take out weekends, and you take out vacations, and stuff like that, but this is a year's supply. Each box costs around four dollars each. And these soaps are a dollar five each. Where? And you can get all of this at Winco, or Walmart has the washing soda and the soap, but not the borax, or the opposite, I'm not sure. But if you want to get it all at once, Winco's got every bit of it. And this is a five-year supply, it's super easy. <coughs> the recipe will be on the website. But what you, for this one that we're going to make, we are going to make three gallons. And the three gallons, what did we figure out that would last? Um, it would be a hundred washes. So this recipe is for a hundred washes. I made, the recipe I did was for it was like a year supply. I made it all at once and just kept it in a five gallon bucket. And then, but super simple. The only hard part is you have to grate the soap. We did try it in a food processor and I don't know, we felt like it was messing up the food processor because the soap's kind of hard. But you can just grate it on a cheese grater And outside when they were talking about doing laundry outdoors and stuff and you know for big things you could use a bathtub and stuff yeah that's all great and fine and dandy but do you guys ever do laundry when you're camping probably most people don't because you don't camp that long but what we have a cabin up in Colorado and we went up there and me and my son were up there for six weeks and we needed to do laundry and so I went and got some soap, and we got a bucket, and we just kind of baked it, but it didn't work out real well. Um, my brother-in-law, Aaron, over there. Aaron, you want to stand? <laughs> he went up to our cabin in Colorado and built us a bungalow so we would have a separate sleeping area for our family. And he was up there for six weeks. How did you wash your clothes, Aaron? I still in the lake. <laughs> <laughs> we have a pond. But if you saw the pond, it's a little scary. Sometimes there's water snakes and stuff. My daughter was laying out in it once on an inner tube, and a snake came, and she freaked out and started walking all over, and the snake got stuck in the inner tube, and it was trying to get away from her, and she was trying to get away from it. It was pretty funny. But um, there are times, I think, that we might need to do laundry away from home, so we can't count on our bathtubs. Okay, I have six cups of boiling water here. Might not quite be six cups because I wanted to watch Brother, Brother Sherman and I overboiled it, so it probably isn't quite as much. But it's really, you just put it in the six cups of boiling water and you stir it till the soap melts. It only takes a few minutes. I haven't done it in an electric skillet, but. On the stove, it just takes a few minutes. And 
And then you take your borax and your washing soda, and you use three quarter cups of each. And the recipe will be on the website. But I measured it out. I've got three quarters of each one in here. We have samples of this on the back table, so you can each take home a load. You use, um, I can't remember how much you use. Let me check my note. Fourth a cup. A fourth a cup, and this will make a hundred loads. And like I said, I have used this soap for a year now and have noticed nothing different. Um, I have essential oils, and so I'll put them in there. So sometimes I'll put in lavender or lemon or peppermint. And there's some antibacterial ones that, you know, sometimes I'll put in too. And just if you want it smelling extra, but I don't know if you guys can smell this. It just smells wonderful. I've had it in my trunk for about three days. First time my car has just ever really smelled good. <laughs> okay. I'm going to make this go faster, but on the stove, this just melts really easy. Just melts all down. Then you add your three quarters cup of the soda and the borax. And it's going to thicken up kind of like pudding a little bit. And you just mix it up till it's real good and mixed and you have no lumps. Have to admit I only use cold water. So I could only guess that it would work even better in hot water. But so you, it's, you can do both. I use it in cold water and it's just great. So to have a year supply of this, you could make three of these a year. And that should do a year's supply. Oh, there, it just started boiling. At home, it does not take this long. Okay, once it's boiling and you have no lumps, you just add four more cups of hot water. following the recipe. And then this is a gallon plus six cups. Once it's all mixed, you pour it in and it will it will start thickening as it sets. It takes about a day to thicken. I've got some lumps in there, but you guys don't need to wait until it's all. I'll reboil it at home. <coughs> but you just stir it, leave the spoon in it, put the lid on it, and just probably two or three times during the day, just stir it one more time because it's congealing and getting real thick and you just want to keep it stirred so it's evenly. Was that cold water that you added it to? Yes, that was cold water. How much, how much water was in that? In here was a gallon plus six cups. <laughs> okay. And then I poured in, I started with six cups hot water and then added four. So that was, I added 10 cups more to this. But I did boil out some water. That's not why it's, that's why it's not clear up to the top. But how 
easy is that? When can you use it, actually? When? When. You said you have to let it set for a day. Um, I thought it set a day. And then it'll be, you can use it after that. Yeah. I, maybe you could use a quarter cup right now. I okay. do not know. But when it gets thicker, it might raise a little. So you, it wouldn't kill you to use it right now. But it will set up and be gel like tomorrow. Question? Yeah. I had, um, when I made it, it got, it's kind of, it kept separating on me. The more you stir it, the, she says it kept, kept separating on her. But the more you stir it the first day, the less that will happen. Okay. Maybe that's what the step I didn't do. Yeah. When I made it in a six gallon one, I had to just stick my whole hand down in and just, um, you know. You don't need a special, you can use like a Home Depot bucket, right? You don't have to have the food grade. Thing, since you're not no, you're not eating it. Mine's just in a leftover wheat bucket that I had. Okay. Any other questions? Yes. Um, question. Um, have you ever tried adding trisodium phosphate to help uh, rinse your clothes better with it? I have not done anything except this. Oh, I was just wondering because I, yeah. I started adding it because they took it out of detergents, all detergents, even <clears throat> liquid detergents and dishwasher detergents um, in the 90s. And I started adding some to my regular laundry soap, and everything's coming out whiter and brighter. Mm. What do you add? You could try that. I don't even know what it is. What's the name of it? What's it called? No, it's fertilizer. Sodium. What's it called? Sodium phosphate. Try sodium phosphate. Try. Yeah. That's why they stopped it. Yeah. She adds trisodium phosphate to it, makes it a little whiter, but yeah, it's, it's not it's, good for groundwater. Yeah, it's an eighth of a cup. Oh, okay. when you use your sure laundry enough. detergent, you put it, you fill your water and put it in before you put your clothes in? Well, when, with my uh, washing machine, the thing fills up with water and then I put it in. And then you put your clothes in? Or can you put your clothes in? Oh, I put my clothes in. Put your water in? And then well, you and then the, where the separate thing is for soap, it oh. fills up with water and then I put my quarter cup in. And so it just kind of dissolves into it. So I can use powder or liquid. But the thing that I like about this also is like what we were saying outside, it's not bubbly. So I have a front loading machine, so I watch it going and no bubbles, no nothing. So it's, it's really good that way and so it's so much easier to rinse out. Question? She's saying she adds salt to hers iodine. and iodine salt. Iodine. Yeah. iodine salt, and that helps make it whiter too. Okay. Any other now questions? How much do you add? I usually add half to three quarter cup for a large, extra load, extra large load size. Okay. There are samples over there for when um, Jane's done teaching her class. All right. Thank you.